Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so today we have a traffic engineering problem. We're going to be talking a little bit about some uninterrupted flow. Uh, here's what the question says. A basic freeway segment has been studied and appears to have relative normal speeds across a wide range of flow rates. Uh, which of the following flow types most accurately describes this flow? So uh, this is going to be a PE depth problem. So if you're taking the transportation depth, you might need to know this one. This is going to be in the highway capacity manual. Uh, we need to look on page 12-5 and 12-6. That is where we're going to find some really good goodies uh, to read about. And so when you look on that, you're going to find a blurb that describes each of the flows, each of the uh, uninterrupted flow types. And uh, basically, there's three of them. There's un unsaturated, oversaturated, and Q discharge. See there, saturated, that's just made up. That's totally out of the blue. Uh, no, there's no such thing as a saturated flow rate in un uh, uninterrupted flow. So here's just a blurb. I'm going to read straight out of the highway capacity manual over what each flow type is so that way you can understand it. So the first one is unsaturated flow. It represents conditions under which the traffic stream is unaffected by upstream or downstream bottlenecks. And so think about this, right? Like you're flowing, you're on the interstate, um, everybody's got some distance to each other. You're, you're not necessarily crammed in and you're not, you're, you're going the speed limit, maybe even a little bit higher. Uh, you're comfortable, right? That is unsaturated flow. Q discharge flow represents congested traffic flow that has just passed through a bottleneck and is accelerating back to the driver's desired speeds. If no other downstream bottleneck exists, Q discharge flow will be relatively stable until the Q is fully discharged. So think about it this way, right? Like you're on the interstate, you see a wreck, people start slowing down whenever they get close to that wreck. Number one, because they're rubbernecking, and number two, because they want to be cautious around the, the wreck. They see, you know, a, uh, police lights or ambulance lights, that type of thing. Uh, they're wanting to pay attention. They're on high alert. Right after you pass the wreck, people start speeding back up to get back to uh, the the nominal flow rate, the, the normal, you know, speeds and that type of thing. So with that said, what you're experiencing, as soon as you exit the wreck and you start speeding up, it's automatically Q discharge flow, just like that. People start speeding up, they start accelerating, they start getting some distance on each other, and then it transitions into undersaturated flow. But right before that is what's called oversaturated flow. So that's whenever you're you know, going five miles an hour right next to a wreck. The, the oversaturated flow represents the conditions within the queue that has backed up from a downstream bottleneck. These flow conditions do not reflect the prevailing conditions of the segment itself, but rather the consequences of a downstream problem. All oversaturated flow is considered to be congested. So think about this. They can ask you so many things about this little blurb right here. They can ask you which of the following types is considered congested, oversaturated flow. Uh, they can ask you, like, describe. Well, they, they won't have you describe it, but which of the following statements most, most accurately portrays oversaturated flow or undersaturated flow or Q discharge, right? They can ask you a ton of stuff. So I encourage you to read through these blurbs, understand what each of them mean. Uh, in our case, it says, let's see, it appears to have relatively normal speeds. It should click right there, normal speeds. What is normal speed? That's undersaturated flow. Oversaturated flow, you're going slow, you're crammed in, you're, you're watching the wreck, right? Q discharge is where you're accelerating, so you're not at normal speeds, you're accelerating. And also there is a, uh, a wide range of flow rates, and so your flow rates change every now and then um, depending on how many vehicles you have in your system or that segment. So which of the following flow types most accurately portrays this flow? This one's going to be A. Because remember, A, you're traveling freely. Uh, B, you're crammed in, you're slowed down. And then D, you're recovering your speed. You're, you're accelerating back to your nominal or normal speeds. All right. So I hope this video helped. Hope it cleared some things up. We'll catch you next time.